The Morgan Nick Foundation was created one year after Morgan was abducted and while finding her is at the top of everyone's list. Case managers here are helping find missing children and adults across the state. When everybody works together, missing people get found and hopefully come home safely. That's exactly what Colleen Nick is hoping for ever since her daughter Morgan disappeared from an Alma ballpark June 9th, 1995, when she was just six years old. This is what Morgan might look like today at 32. I've always said I got my education about this on the sidewalk outside the police department. Things I've learned that have surprised me the most is that more than 2,000 children are reported missing every day. Morgan Nick Foundation. Last year alone, case managers at the Morgan Nick Foundation worked more than 1,500 missing person cases across Arkansas, including children and adults. It doesn't matter how someone is missing, whether they're a runaway, a family abduction, a stranger abduction, a missing adult. Um, missing is missing. If you're not where you're supposed to be, then you need to be found. Case managers work with the Attorney General's Office, local law enforcement, and family members to help find missing persons like 16-year-old Rayleigh Pierce, 15-year-old Jacob Torres, and 17-year-old Jasmine Hassel, all missing from Fort Smith. What used to be a runaway going to a friend's house for a couple days has now become a whole other um, crime that's happening against children where they're being trafficked and exploited and traded. When you've got kids that run away in today's age, um, within 48 hours, they are usually at least approached for sex trafficking in some sort. Problem is when you get out there on the streets, there are people who are waiting to exploit you and hurt you. And case managers say sharing missing persons posters has the most success and that approximately 86% of those who are pictured are found. Now tonight at six, we'll tell you how teachers and school districts across the state can help teach the same lessons taught here by the foundation workers when it comes to online and personal safety for children and teens. In Alma, Brett Rains, 4029 News.